guys. Today I'm going to show you how to set up FlexFuel using your FuelTech ECU. First, we're going to scroll down to Map Options. Next, we'll enable FlexFuel, and then we'll go to our inputs. Here, we're going to configure a FlexFuel sensor. Once we've done that, we can scroll up to other functions and click on FlexFuel. This is the first FlexFuel screen that you're going to see. The 75% here is the default value the ECU will go to if something happens to your flex fuel sensor. You can change this to suit your needs. Below that, we have disregard reading during engine start. This makes the ECU ignore the ethanol content sensor while we're cranking just to make sure if the battery voltage fluctuates a little bit, it doesn't skew our reading. Also, below that, we have disregard reading with high load. What this does, is it tells the ECU to ignore the flex fuel sensor when the fuel flow is really high, just to make sure that we don't have any errors. So now we're gonna click flex fuel setup wizard. We'll click yes. And this is where we get to enter our base ethanol content. In my case, it's 85%. We're gonna click okay. Next, we go to the main fuel injection compensation table. You can see the 85% that I chose is all zeroed out. Above that, we're adding fuel, and below that, we're taking fuel away. Next, we have the engine start and prime pulse compensation. This works in the same way. Our 85% that we chose is zero. Above that, it's adding fuel. Below that, it's taking fuel away. Next, we have the acceleration fuel enrichment compensation. This is also set up the same way. 0% on 85% that we chose in the wizard. If we have more than that, it's going to add fuel to our acceleration enrichment, and if we have less, then we're gonna take fuel away from our acceleration enrichment. Now here's a cool feature. This is our Lambda target compensation. What this allows you to do is target something richer or leaner based off of your ethanol content. You can see, once again, 85% is zeroed out. Anything above that, we have a richer target, and anything below that, we have a little bit leaner target because our ethanol content is less. The main ignition compensation table, you can see again here, 85% is zeroed out. If we have more than 85% ethanol, it adds almost a degree of timing, and then below 85%, it's actually removing a little bit of timing. Finally, we have wastegate boost control compensation. This allows you to add or remove boost based on your ethanol content. So at 85%, if we won't, don't wanna change anything, we'll leave that at zero. 100%, we can add five. 75%, we could do minus two. 40, we can do minus five, 10%, we can do minus 15, and then 0%, we can do minus 20. All right, guys, congratulations. You just set up flex fuel on your ECU, and I'll see you on the racetrack.